Hi guys, welcome back to LPB Racing for the Mazda MX-5 Touring Trophy on GT Sport. This is round five from Alsace. It's the uh, French round of the championship, doing two races at Alsace and two races at saint croix So here we go, let's take you through the grid then for the first race. So it's Firepower who draws pole position. So Firepower on pole with Jamo in second place. Bidster in third. He's on maximum weight for this one. Then it's Video in fourth. He's on second place weight, so he's going to be heavy as well. Neil Farmack in fifth position. Then it's TY in sixth. Seventh is Rodders. Eighth is Keith. And seat one is in ninth place. So let's get ready for the start of the race then. Here we go. Firepower on pole. Let's see what he can do. Here at the front row, Jamo's alongside him. Lights coming on on the tree. Here we go. Lights coming on. And waiting for it green, there we go, lights out. And it's a good start from Firepower. He gets a good little lead there as bit, bits to the video get a bit more bogged down with the weight on Neil Farmack close up. Rodders goes in the middle of him as well. Into the first corner. Firepower, Jamo, video and bits to alongside each other. Neil Farmack trying to break into there as well. And Seek and TY further back. Here we go up the hill then. Up the hill, Firepower with Jamo pulling alongside him, bids the third in there, here we go. Jamo coming up alongside Firepower into the into the next right-handed. Jamo's up the inside, takes the lead, bids to then, tries to get up the inside of his teammate as well. Further back we've got Rodders sixth, Keith seventh. Oh, TY's off from 8th, he got, goes back to ninth. he's just tapped the wall there, Neil Farmack going round the outside of Bidster, remember Bidster and Video, the ones carrying weight in this they're the ones, the, the two heaviest cars, then you've got Seat carrying weight, so is Neil and so is Jamo into the corner, Bidster defends the inside from Neil Farmack, with no way through there for the team target driver, as they go under the, under the little bridge into this little uh, tighter section here, down the hill Rodders at Video and uh, Rodders and Video close together, seat one up the inside of Keith. Oh, and up the inside of Rodders, bang! Have that, Rodders. Seat one, absolutely hip and shoulder. Keith through the middle. And TY does more grass cutting further back, so TY not having a good race here. Neil Farmax took third place off Bidster, by the way, further up the road. There he is, Neil Farmax, the lighter car of the ones at the front, apart from Firepower, obviously, Firepower, the. Uh, uh, at the bottom of the championship at the minute but nice light car for him into the hairpin as Firepower goes very wide there and Neil Farmack goes through and Bids is going to try and follow him if he can let's see what we can do here Firepower sticks on the inside he's not giving up his place Neil Farmack goes around the outside of him Bidster trying to push his teammate up the hill go 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 says Bidster Jamo in the lead then he's loving this but Neil Farmack on the inside of Firepower now down to the bottom break hard downhill very easy to muck up this corner and Neil Farmack takes second place Firepower looks at the inside again can't do it his teammate bids the closers right up to the back of him in towards the first corner again so tight first lap there but incident free more or less apart from TY's uh, offs there's video oh video bang absolutely wipes out Bidster so Bidster absolutely wiped out there by video and Video is waiting for Bidster, but that is a, not a good move there from Video. I think he just outbreaks himself and Bidster right down to the back. So we'll get a replay on that for you now. Okay, here's a replay of the Bidster video incident looking backwards from Firepower's car. So Bidster's right behind his teammate here. And then as they break into the corner, they both decide to, to go into the corner. Video just misses his breaking point completely and hits Bidster into a spin and then waits for him. As we come back from that then, it's Jamo in the lead from Neil. Firepower sticking on Neil's tail in third. Jamo there in the lead of the race. Neil trying to close in on him. Remember, Neil's a, a bit lighter in this race than the other cars around him. He's on fourth place weight. Having said that, Jamo's on fifth place weight. So Jamo's lighter than them all as Neil gets Firepower around the outside of him. Firepower going around the outside of him, trying to get the inside for the next corner. Firepower making a fight back here. Here we go the inside. And a clean move up the inside there for Firepower. Good move there as Keith is in fourth, Keith's up to fourth, incredible start for Keith, he's now in a team target car if you look there, Keith is in a target car, so he's joined the team target squad, so the top three will uh, score points, so Will is not here yet, but so uh, Rodders, uh, Rod not Rodders, TY goes wide again, TY not having a good first race at all, this is not the drive we expect to see from TY, so must be a lot further up than this, and there's Bidster in front of uh, video after the first corner calamity. 
Neil Farmack attacking firepower again to back down towards the hairpin. Firepower on the inside for the way in. And oh, keeps the place. Are expecting Neil to come down on the inside. A bit like Rodders did there on Keith. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Rodders sees a gap and he goes for it, but keeps holding him off. No, you don't, Sunshine. There's, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but you can teach Keith them. Keith knows plenty of old tricks that up that work. And he's in fourth and he's staying there. Rodders is going to have to try harder than that. Neil trying to attack firepower, but firepower are a very good defence into that corner. They're not too tight for the way in, but probably a bit too tight for the way out. This could be Neil's opportunity on the straight. Gets a good run out of the corner. Firepower's going to have to think about defending this as we've got Rodders and Keith. Keith on the inside, Rodders on the outside. Firepower holds the position from Neil, but Neil goes to cut back over the curb. That could be a penalty if he cuts it too fine. Keith holds on to fourth place again. Incredible C1 in sixth, TY seventh. Bidster back in 8th and video 9th. But back to the battle for 2nd place and 4th. Just uh, keep holding off Rodders very well there. There's the up the hill. One of the best races we've seen from Firepower in a long time here. Into the right-hander. Bit deep in though. And he goes wide on the way out. I'm jinxed here. I've spoke too soon. He goes off on, onto the grass. Neil goes through. Keith is going to take the advantage here. And Rodders might, might as well. As he goes, oh, one each side, absolutely one each side, Firepower's in the middle, Keith to the inside, Rodders to the outside, down to the right-hander, and Firepower darts back up the inside, no, you do not, but yes, he does, because he goes wide, valiant attempt at trying to keep the position, but Firepower goes back down to fifth, trying a bit too desperate there, but uh, Keith on the inside of Rodders, just trying to maintain his position, Rodders trying to go around the outside of him, oh, just trying to squeeze the car around the outside, can't do it. So Rodders then has to stay in fourth place for now, but uh, Keith up to third, Rodders up to fourth. Through the right hand of the bank corner, absolutely flat out in these cars. These Mazda's getting a real stretch of the legs here. Stretch of the wheels if you wanted to uh, not call it legs, but uh, into the hairpin we go. Neil, Keith, Rodders, Firepower, that's second, third, fourth, fifth. Jamo further up the road, he's in the lead, there he is, coming up the hill. Letting that Mazda sing up the hill. There's Neil, Keith. And then we've got Rodders and Firepower. But further back, Rodders is losing touch with Keith there. Keith actually closing in slightly on Neil Farmack here. Keith closing in on Neil. Down the bottom of the hill. Late on the brakes. Visually there, Keith closing up to the back of Neil. But Neil does take a lovely line out that last corner. Oh, Rodders very close to the wall here. <laughs> Just further back. Very close to disaster. Oh, speaking of close to disaster, there's T.Y. Having a disastrous race behind seat one. And uh, his teammates in front of him now. But will he go for the inside into the first corner? No, he's going to back off and stay behind seat one here. And Bidster and Video are still having a, a good battle for eighth and ninth. But that's not where they'll want to be. Bidster will have wanted to be a bit further up in this. I know he's carrying maximum weight, but he'll have wanted to at least try and hold off the guys in front rather than get uh, blatantly hit. But uh, Neil Farmack and Keith up the hill. Neil Farmack. Out to the outside, Keith to the inside, but Neil just about holding off. Just had the confidence to uh, not defend there because he knew that he could run, carry more speed into the corner from that line, and that would be its own defence. As Rodders closes up to the back of Keith again, Keith a slightly worse run out of that corner compared to Neil Farmack, which gives Rodders a chance to close up into the 90 degree right hander, into the little dip. Lovely corners here at Alsis. Uh, Alsace, Alsace, whatever you want to call it, but uh, beautiful corners on this track, some very fast sweeping ones and some very, very hard ones as well, like this one, you go downhill, break, turn, then the camber suddenly goes away out the corner there and you go into an adverse camber as you go out the corner. This next one's flat out in these cars, absolutely flat out, carry a middle-ish line into the apex like Keith does there, and then bring her into the bottom, and look at the speed he carries compared to the other cars around him, closing up on Neil, he's bringing Rodders with him now, down towards the hairpin, three cars into one, this is going to end, this is going to end well, down into the hairpin, Rodders goes to the inside of Keith for the entrance, but Keith defends the inside into the corner, Rodders will try and go for a cutback and just gives him a nice little boost out the corner, Keith says thank you very much, and Rodders slows himself up by helping Keith out, and firepower, Goes right around the outside of him, the two naughty cars side by side. Up the hill. Firepower versus Rodders. There's no team orders here. Firepower down the bottom of the hill. Keith having a look at Neil as well. Don't know where to look in this one. Firepower looking at 
fourth place up the inside. There he goes, flashing his lights as he goes past. Probably just caught the button. It's all oh, right. He had to see how he had to turn in there and then take the lock off. He turned in way too early. They had to re straighten up the car and it's lost him time there. Runners go straight back through. Meanwhile, Jamo in the lead, not phased by all this that's happening behind him. He's got a nice five or six second cushion over the, over the next guys and a two minute 5.7 fast slap of the race to boot as well. Neil Farmer still with Keith right behind him his new teammate Keith I wonder if Keith's going to uh, play the helping hand game here or he's going to actually attack his teammate we'll have to see as we go down the hill I think he's going to well he's, he's, he's remaining behind him for now so unless he's got his back covered but uh, Keith could be playing the team game here because uh, but having said that Keith's got just enough as a enough of a chance of this championship as, as others as well just needs a few more things to swing his way but uh, Still, anything can happen in this championship. Keith right behind his teammate Rodden. So uh, the two target cars being chased down by the two naughty cars. Naughty racing. There's Rodders. There's firepower. We go down there as we look further back. We've got Bids. Oh, Bids is in sixth. C1 and TY have gone absolutely backwards here. And they've been passed by the two heavier cars of Bidster and Video. So something's happened back here. Replay. Okay, here's a look what happened to seat one for him to go back down the order. So it was the, the uh, start of lap four. And he just went really wide at the first corner. T.Y. almost followed him and luckily didn't spin the car, but he lost a load of momentum. And Bidster and Video caught right up to him. Okay, and here's a replay of what happened to T.Y. for him to go back into the pack. So here we go down through to the last corners. Now watch here, he goes into the corner very quick. It's almost too quick and then hits the wall. It should have been a glancing blow, but he hits, he hits a bit of an invisible wall. Which is very rare for Gran Turismo, but an invisible wall, wall gets hit, and as he rejoins, he's oh, video just goes to the inside of him, and Ty gets mugged, and then into the corner we go, and video takes everyone and goes up to sixth. Incredible. As we come back from that, bids to defending his position in sixth place from video. Video going for the switch back, going for the cut, run out the corner. Bids to runs wide, catch the on the power sooner, into the into the bank right hander. And Binster to the inside, video to the outside, and he's going to get passed by seat one if he's not careful as he comes back across. Almost contact video needs to work on his awareness a bit more. Been a bit clumsy as of late as Neil and Keith. They are still in the same positions. Neil, Keith, Rodders, Firepower, still the same. Binster, video seat, TY as well, further back. Some good battles going on here. Four cars, four cars, and the leader Jamo just saying goodbye everyone. I'm in the lead, I'm gonna stay there. Bids to defend him from fight from the video again as they go up the hill. Quick look to the leaders while they're going down there. As we've got Neil, Keith and Rodders is right behind Keith as well, down towards the first corner. Keith having a look at Neil also. Quick look back to the other guys who are in the uh, at the other corner. Bids to video seek. And Bizda holds on from video and seek. Meanwhile, we've got Keith in second. Rod is in third and Neil back down to fourth. So they did get up the inside of him. They both passed him. And up the hill we go. So, But that's not helped the team target out because Rodders has managed to get in between the middle of them. So Rodders gets up to third place. And meanwhile, Bidster, Video, T.Y. and Seek all having, a, all having a nice battle as well. Bidster, the heaviest car in the lead of the pack. And meanwhile, Keith running a bit wide there at that corner. Rodders then can, might have a chance to catch up here and Neil as well. Firepower's right on the back of the bunch of them as well. Firepower is not done with this battle yet. He wants more po more positions and more points. Down towards the right hand there. The 90 degree right into the corner. Good passing opportunity here, but no one takes the bait yet. Oh, Keith takes some bait though. He runs wide on the exit of the corner, carries too much speed into the corner, and that could open the door for Rodders. Down towards the little left corner. I think Keith's going to have this covered. I think goes Rodders going for the inside. He is, he's going for the inside. Rodders gets the inside and a good clean move on him there. But runs wide on the exit and hits the wall. And he's going to go right back down to, to fifth place there. There he goes. So it's Keith, Neil, Firepower. Oh, Firepower and Rodders still side by side. But Firepower, whoa, Firepower just sneaks in front of him. Absolutely chops his nose off, but still. Well, we've had a spinner further back. TY's gone round. TY's gone round. Don't know whether, whether there was contact or not, but TY's gone round. Replay. Okay, here's a replay. What happened to TY on lap six? For him to go back down the field. So he's pulling alongside seat one, trying to get past bits to bits to defence from him. And he goes into the corner. He's on the inside of his teammate now. If you go into the corner there, hits the curb, and then just they, make this, they just make contact with each other, and TY ends up coming off worst. I think that was just a racing incident, and TY ends up in the wall. 
And as you come back from that, we've got Rodders and Firepower still battling at it, but the two target cars are getting away because they're battling with each other. It, up the hill, Rodders onto the inside now, Firepower, ah, it's contact between the two cars, absolutely just pushing each other to the limit here. It's good racing, but it's not good for the team. Keith is ahead of Neil Farmack down to the bottom. Let's see what Keith does for his team. Down to the bottom, there we go. Rodders and Firepower still side by side. Firepower on the inside, just gets the position from Rodders. No team orders in this team, absolutely fighting for every last scrap of point. But they've not helped themselves here because the target cars have got away. And if they can stick in this formation, then they'll have some good points coming towards them. Meanwhile, Bids is in eighth place, he's been passed by seat one, so the weight's starting to affect Bids to now. Video and seat further ahead, video's second weight, but uh, seat one's third place weight, so they're all very heavy cars. As we go back to the action for second place and fourth as well, up the hill. Jamo, we're not seeing much of him in this race, but he's been dominant out front. So he's uh, still out front, still going very fast. Neil Farmer there in third. Firepower and Rodders. Rodders with the fastest lap of the race, though the extra point going for going to Team Norta by the look of it. The 205.632 compared to Jamo's 205.795, so a tenth faster than Jamo. So he's got good to get that extra that extra point as he goes to the inside of Firepower again. Firepower runs wide onto the grass. Oh, he's thrown it away on the last lap. But Firepower throws it away. And goes back down to fifth, and I think he's going to end up staying there. As we look further back, we've got Bidster still attacking seat one. Bidster's not done with seat one yet. As you go into the right hand there, up and over the top. And, oh, just both cars using the curb as much as they can to try and get as much speed. Rodders and Keith and Neil close together. Quick look back towards Seek and Bidster, who are side by side. Oh, they were almost side by side. Seat one carries some good speed through the corner, but catches the grass on the way out. Might have to lift. And Bidster's going to close up here, but quickly to the leaders. We've got Jamo's being caught. Jamo's being caught by the others. Is he had enough? off? He must have gone off somewhere. But luckily he's rejoined just in front of them all. There he is, going up the hill. And there's Neil, Keith and Rodders behind. But Jamo, for some reason, slowed down on that last lap. But uh, at least he's still in the lead. But uh, the mystery remains and we'll get a replay on that. OK, here's a replay of what happened to Jamo then. Um, as we were approaching the, the last lap, we're going across the line, see on the telemetry we're all good on the power, but then he just he lifts off before the corner, and then as he gets, he's, he's not really in a rush to get back on the power, and he's literally just going slow, and there's no problem with the car or anything, but then he puts the power back on, really weird this, right, and then as we, he's obviously going a bit slower up the hill anyway, and if we just fast forward a little bit, he's at the top of the hill, he's lifting off over the hill, he doesn't need to lift off, he's just slowing down like he's trying to lose time on purpose. I don't know why that is, he should, well, if I were him I'd just keep the pace up and keep the lead but he's completely lifted off, it's like he's just got no enthusiasm to drive anymore, fourth gear maximum power which is not what you should be doing, and he's got changing up early, lifting off around the corner, he's just losing time, I don't know why he's doing this but it was very risky and he kept on doing it for half a lap and then he, and then he ended up uh, putting his foot down. As we come back. Jamo first, then Keith looking at the inside of Neil Farmack, or he could be defending from Rodders, either one. But into the last corner, Keith has a little go, Neil's in second. But Jamo wins the race here at Alsace. Well done to Jamo, he wins the race. Second place for Neil Farmack, third for Keith, fourth for Rodders. Good finish there. Firepower in a disappointed fifth after it could have possibly got a podium there. And then we've got video in sixth, bids to seventh, and C1 is going to be in eighth place. As we go across the line, there we go. Video from Bidster, from Seek. And then TY is going to end up finishing in ninth, pl ninth place. So we'll just get those results confirmed for you now, guys. Okay, guys, here's the results from that then. So Jamo wins that race uh, just about because he slowed down at the end, but he wins the race. Neil in second place, and it's third for Keith. Fourth is Rodders. Firepower gets a well deserved fifth. Video in sixth. Bidster back in seventh. 8th is seat 1 and ninth is TY. Fastest lap of the race goes to Rodders, a 205.6. As we come back from that then, there is your winner, Jamo, in that number 98 Team Walls Mazda there. Well done to Jamo, he wins the first race, and we'll see you guys next time for race 2 here at Alsis. Take care. Yeah!